Hello and welcome to Value Chain TV News Update. I am Kabir Lowell with the news. Following the increase in the 2024 budget from 7.2 trillion to 8.2 trillion naira, Nigerians have called on federal government to ensure that the budget is judiciously utilized. The report. I strongly believe that this year's budget is going to be the best kind of budget that we'll have in this country. Yes, considering the people that have actually, that Mr. President put together, you understand, to, to, to craft the budget and the people having the sole responsibility of really making budget for the country. I also know, I know a lot of people have a lot of reservation for this administration, but I see this administration even with the new budget moving Nigeria forward. It's a, time, a matter of uh, political will. Eh? If the president and his cabinet want to do it, they will do it. If they don't want to do it, they want to siphon the money, nothing will work. It's just a matter of collective effort as well. Not only the presidency, but trickle down to the, the grassroots. Whoever is given a project to execute, our money is released to him or her, even the contractors. They have to try their best. That's the only way we can achieve whatever is project is pronounced. The budget is based on implementation, it's not the figure that is pronounced. When once implementation is executed effectively, you understand? When all releases are made to the ministries and they are effectively utilized, it will favor Nigerians. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited and members of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria have clashed again over the removal of subsidy on petrol following further depreciation of Naira against the dollar at both investors and exporters window and the parallel market. Valuchen TV's Ibrahim Usman completes the report. The new year has seen the local currency closing at 998 Naira to a dollar at the official market while it traded at 1,225 Naira to a dollar at the black market. Oil marketers have said that subsidy on petroleum products was increasing in recent times, but the NNPC has disputed the claim, declaring that it was recovering its full cost on the importation of petrol. The marketers have confirmed to newsmen that petrol should sell for 1,200 naira per litre in a free market. According to the National Public Relations Officer of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Chief Uka Dike Chinedu, Subsidy on petroleum products was rising and that the cost of the commodity should be around 1,200 naira per litre in a free market. Speculations have however remained to affirm that there is partial subsidy on petroleum products by the government for political, social and economic reasons. The product, which is solely imported into Nigeria by the NNPCL, currently sells for between 617 naira per litre to 616 naira per litre, depending on the location of the purchase in Nigeria. For Value Chain TV, Ibrahim Usman reporting. It is customary for people to make New Year resolutions. For many reasons, the New Year provides benefits of reflection on self-improvement. In this report, Value Chain TV asked a few Nigerians in Abuja whether people still make New Year resolutions. The report. We have there's peace and tranquility in Nigeria. Some part of Nigeria there is peace and tranquility, and things are changing smoothly, gradually, gradually. We don't get things at once. We take it gradually, gradually. Then things will be smoothly okay in Nigeria. People are in hurry to get things done, but not like that. You have to take it gradually. Even the babies are crawling, crawling. But they seem like going up, rolling up and down. That's about Nigerian, Nigerian, Nigerian government. My New Year resolution. I thank my God for keeping me alive to see today. And I believe the statement of the new year is okay for my family and myself. So, and I believe Nigeria will become okay. The Nigerian Coalition of Civil Society Organizations has commended President Bola Tinubu for promptly suspending the national coordinator and the chief executive officer of the National Social Investment Program Agency, Halima Shehu, and ordering immediate investigation into allegations of financial impropriety. In an address to newsmen during a press conference in Abuja, leader of NCCSO, Abimbola Ademola, saluted the president for demonstrating zero tolerance for corruption in governance, stressing that his swift action will serve as deterrent to other appointees 
that it is no more business as usual. Meanwhile, Executive Director of Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center, CISLAC, Awal Rafsanjani, has asked President Tinubu to follow due process in handling issues relating to the suspension or removal of public officers or political appointees confirmed by the Senate. According to him, there is need for strict adherence to due process in the suspension or removal of political officers or political appointees. Halima Shehu's appointment was confirmed by the Senate on October 18, 2023. She previously served as the National Coordinator of Conditional Cash Transfer during President Muhammadu Buhari's administration. She has been replaced by Dr. Akindele Ubuwalu as the Acting Chief Executive Officer and the National Coordinator of the agency. Minister of Information and National Orientation Al Haji Muhammad Idris has identified the private sector's leading role in actualizing the federal government initiative on compressed natural gas CNG. Idris stated this at the inauguration of ABG CNG plant and graduation of 40 CNG conversion technicians. While praising the foresight of President Bola Tinubu in leading the way towards the adoption of the CNG, the minister described the effort of the ABG group as noble and timely and said CNG has come to stay as more cost-effective means in the transportation sector. In the last days ending 2023, the federal government offered Nigerians traveling for holidays the benefit of free transportation to caution the hardship imposed by increase in fuel prices. Valuchain TV asked few Nigerians their opinions on the intervention. I attempted to use the train I tried booking online, but actually it's not going through. I tried several times, it didn't go through. But I'm happy at least I've met people that have uh, enjoyed the services. And it's a welcome idea, it's a good one. Okay. At least uh, we are reaping the dividends of democracy. Even though I did not benefit, but I've seen people that benefited from it. People are going through a lot of hardship, you know, having such offers, uh, you know, and uh, subsidies, even though the full subsidy is not there, there are some other subsidies government is providing, like this one is one of them. So I believe it will cushion the effect of uh, the, the hardship, you know, that was uh, caused by the removal of the subsidy. I believe if government will keep uh, coming up with such interventions, not just during the festive seasons, you know, uh, time to time, you know, because if we wait till the festive season, it's going to, it takes long, you know, uh, time to time they can just come with, up with these offers for to last for a week or two. Every policy actually seems good from the beginning. But just like you said, there is nothing that can go wrong for everybody. But the irony is some of us really wonder if you come with subsidy and you subsidize transport, which is better? You leave the fuel cheaper so that the transport can be cheaper, so that at least the bulk of the people will benefit directly. But this one, some of us are feeling as if, how are we sure of the figures they are giving? That's the challenge some of us have. I saw last time 160 something thousand. I traveled during the Euro time. I benefited nothing. So it becomes funny to some of us. So the, the policy should be what you actually cut across, that even but somebody on the street will pick up something from it. And that's it on Value Chain TV News Update. I am Kabir Lawal. Thanks for staying with us.